One Piece is back from its sudden three week break with chapter 1112 to continue the chaos that is the Aged Island climax. Here's the what happened and we'll discuss whether or not this is a good One Piece chapter or not. What happened in One Piece chapter 1112? Chapter 1112 begins with Saint Nasujuro continuing to run around again, disabling the pacifistas attacking the navy surrounding the island, openly stating that giving jewelry bony more authority than the five elders over the pacifistas is an act of rebellion that needs to be eliminated. All of the five elders are highly active in this chapter, with each one of them trying to stop the chaos that erupted on Agate Island. Saint Marcus Mask tries to find the source of Vegapunk's broadcast, getting the assistance of the traitorous York in locating where the broadcast is coming from. Eventually, Mask did use that it's coming from a transponder snail in a punk records. The island's library, Saturn, has somehow made his way into the levosphere with his legs gripping the side of the cliff that the thousand sun is on. As for Varkari and Peter, the two of them are trying to stop Luffy from escaping with the giants by launching an all-out assault on them. Peter now with his head reattached to his body attempts to suck Luffy, Tori and Brogi into his mouth but Luffy still with his gear 5 powers throws a building into his gaping mouth to stall him. This drains Luffy of his last remaining strength, but after a quick bite from Vresence from the Giants, he has enough to stand to attack Workery with a gum gum red axe. Even then, it hardly harms Workery, who sucks it off and leaves Luffy in searing pain. While Luffy is attempting to escape, the rest of the Stroids are all finding their own escape methods. Frankie and Bonnie team up with the Giants to secure a path to the sea while defeating some of the Vice Admirals sent after them. As for Nami, Chopper, Usopp, Brook and Robin while they are waiting for Zoro, Sanji and Jimbe, they run to facts that will make their escape a bit more complicated. First, Stussy, the rogue CP0 agent revealed to be the working with the Vedapunk, confirms that a still injured Kaku that she is staying behind to ensure that the straw heads can escape by deactivating the barrier surrounding the levosphere the second they are about to escape, ensuring her own capture or death. They not be even matter though since even with a coup de burst the southern Sunday would plummet from the levosphere and crash into the ground, killing the crew. Edition ensure the strohats that they'll make it to the sea before jumping from the levosphere and colliding with the barrier. It all may be for not too, as the five elders begins to close around the strohats. As the chapter ends, we see Nasujoro intercept Frankie and Bonnie at the shore. Saturn climbs his way to the levosphere and reaches Sunny and Mars in human form, discovering the location of Vegapunk's transponder snail. Overall, this chapter was mostly the setup for the five elders now confronting the straw hat directly. Given their immortality and how even given five Luffy was unable to make a dent in any of them, it seems virtually impossible for any of them to stand a chance against the elders. They are going to have to find some way to escape, but there's a chance that the straw hats or their allies may not come out of this unscathed. After waiting for three weeks, it doesn't exactly live up to the anticipation and is an odd note to return on. But it still makes chapter 11-12 a solid, if unremarkable, world chapter of One Piece. If you like this video, then share it in your social media group. Don't forget to subscribe the Emperor Vishal channel and we will meet again in the next amazing video of One Piece. Thank you for watching.